Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, and welcome back to Dying Light 2. Uh, where are we? Here we are. And my battery is already dying, but that's fine. We are going to go meet with Frank, and be like, yo bro, how's it going? And he's gonna be like, meh. I'm an alcoholic, whoop dee dee look at me go! And we're gonna be like, dang, that's sad. But, first, before that, I do wanna check out if I can upgrade my... Zipline again. Not zipline, I keep calling it a zipline. Uh, oh, wait, do I have five, or do I need two? You come. Hold on. This is confusing. Uh, what am I looking for? Why is my brain not branding? The. Uh, I just look for two. Uh. Oh. Oh, I have five. Okay. What do I need? That's right. Am I too poor? Is that, is that what's wrong? Yeah. Attention everyone. All right, hold on. Hey, lady. Ask and you shall receive baby Sounds cakes. Good to me, lady. That's just what the doctor ordered. I despise two-handed weapons, but <laughs> they're so good. They work so nice. How'd you know I was after that? Um, I didn't. Always good to have extra. I j I'm just, I just gotta. Ah! Uh, Let no, me whatever. type that off your whatever, hands. Whatever, whatever, whatever. I just need money. Wow, that I mean, came just in time. Technically, it visually doesn't matter, but. Oh! Nah, Phew, nothing's gonna be. This I just sold six. my last darn one. Okay, uh, I and here was I worried about running out. Didn't put that guy on. Why, thank you, honey. I wanted one of those. Yep, yep, no problem. Wait, what? Can I? Okay, it wasn't. Always it was like in the market new. for those. So one, so morphine, MREs, tools, old world. Baby, vodka, I totally crystals, needed that. Canned food. So this seems to be just what the heck? Why not? All stuff I can actually just get rid of. Okay, nice, nice. Sure nice. hope. I I'm going to quickly equip all of that armor. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot. I completed the payday mask thing. Um, and I got the mask. That, that's it. Uh, okay. So that's equipped. Uh, here we are. Put on boots. All right, so this is what our character looks like now. Sorry, we can't see this all the time. I think this looks a lot cooler. See you again. You Alrighty. So, is this the final upgrade? That'll never fail. Adds ability to pull enemies closer. Wait, what? Oh, oh! I can immediately do it. Okay. Uh, yeah. Now that is one quality item. Uh, okay. Cool. Uh, is okay nice um I can I upgrade oh, I can't upgrade the boomstick ooh but uh I don't I don't really use any of this other than this guy but uh, does it cost uh okay old faithful I call that mm. yeah okay fair enough uh, three shots, strong and immunized damage, dough, amount produced, one, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Come back before you get Okay, so, 
now I have can't use here. Ugh, ugh, yeah, because you're not cool. <laughs> Okay, so now, can I, can I pull me close? Or is it just enemies? So if I like, I think I can now officially Spider-Man towards stuff. So like, if I want to go up there, can I? Unless it's just enemies. Zomboy! Zomboy! Where is a zombie? There's no more zombies everywhere. What the heck? Okay, I was trying to spawn. Oh, there they are. So now. Get away! Hold on, I wanna, I wanna just Spider-Man real quick. Ow! I am Spider-Man. <laughs> all right, all right. Enough fun. <laughs> this is not working out the way I wanted it to. Are y'all excited for Spider-Man 2 to come out? I am. I can't wait. Here, Lord. Come on. All right, let's let's go up. Talk to to Frankie boy. See what he's all about. Okay. What? Uh, what? That killed me. Really? I've fallen from higher and survived. How did that kill me? Oh, whatever. All right, Frankie boy. Let's see. Let's see what you got in store. Come on, Frankie boy. Don't be a bad person. Frankie. Frankie boy. This is Frank on Radio Free Villador. Your neighbor, your city, once more and forevermore, signing off. Talk to me, Frank. Hey, Frankie. Look, we started off on the wrong foot. Yeah, I'd say. You, uh, hated my gods. I'd like to correct that mistake. Have a drink. Yeah? For me. Frank, I really don't have time for this. I... I have to find another way to find my... Just listen. Walt needs to access that Chiari place. You get it? That's why we have to find that pilgrim. He's offering a lot of fucking crystals for what he's got. And a lot of boosters. Do I have your attention Is now? Is that Ron? Were those? Renegades, yes. But how did you... The TV station used to be controlled by the military. They did more than just broadcast from there. Thanks to you, we can now listen in on the enemy. It appears that Waltz is looking for the same database you're after. But the observatory is completely soaked with chemicals. <laughs> I have no idea how this GRE crap works, but Waltz sure seems to know. Maybe the observatory is not the only place to access the database. Is this conversation all you have? Uh, for now. <laughs> but if we got close to their position and hacked into their frequency, we could collect more intel on Watts' plans. How? The transmission you heard was intercepted near an old military antenna in the wharf, just south of Marsh End Lane. If we adjust the frequency, we'll be able to hear everything they say. Every syllable. And you'd know exactly what Waltz is up to. Okay. Um, let's do it. Anything else before I get going? 
Oh, one more thing. Look at that poster, Aiden. Nightrunners used to abide by that creed, live by it. I used to think we were as torn apart as that piece of paper, but the creed still means something. And if you increase the range, I can contact the remnants of the old Nightrunners. Some must still be alive. I see it now. This means a lot to you, doesn't it? Not just to me, to everyone here. But there's one piece missing. Do you know why I haven't thrown this poster away in all this time? Because of Luan. When I saw her for the first time, she was maybe, what, eight, nine years old. She was barely alive. She looked like she hadn't eaten in a year. And she was trying to help some kids get a crystal back from the thief. The guy was threatening them with a knife. He was twice their size, stronger, and she jumped on him. Bit his hands so deep that his screams were heard as far away as old Villador. After that, she gave the crystal to one of the boys and left. She didn't get anything out of it. She didn't have to risk it. I looked at her and thought, this is all we have left. As humans, we can fight one another. Everybody just for themselves. Or, no matter what, we can stand up for each other. Then I wrote down this credo. That little girl helped the Night Runners become who they were for years. And if we are to be reborn, we cannot do it without her. I'm on my way. Okay, I'm on my way. Then go get him. I'll be on the radio. You remind me of Luan, before she became obsessed with that goddamn hit list of hers. I'll get ears on the Renegades for you. I'll find out what Waltz is up to. I promise. Thanks. Am I a night runner? I mean, I have all of your stuff, so... Only make a sense of the Mega Midnight Runner, too. Frank is back, and I've got some exciting news for you. Blankets, food, and drinking water are being collected in the canteen. Oh, where are we going? Didn't I already do that in ten? Yeah, I did. All right, whatever. Uh, yeah, let's go. No. Damn it! Not what I wanted. All right, whatever. Ew. Boop. Uh, make sure my spike. Yeah, it keeps unsticking the spiky boy. Oh, wait. I can. Oh my god. This entire time, I could have just tapped it and it would have auto selected different options for me. That is dumb. I've played through so much of this game before I figured out that was an option. Oh my god. Alright, that's fine. Uh, okay, sorry. Brain not braining. Okay, uh. God. You ever just like. You're trying to do something, but your brain just seems to like play music in the background, or you're, you're like, "Oh man, I'm itchy," so you start focusing on that. Hey, Frank, they just slowly start to That's uh, it's really way up there. Yeah. GRE made them hard to reach for a reason. Keeps them away from the bad guys. But for a guy like you, Aiden, piece of cake. Okay. More like whole cake, but yeah, I get your. Um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, I see, okay, cool. Boing! Bring anything you, me, 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 me. Shut up, Frank. <laughs> Poor Frank. Uh, I'm mean to you because I hate you. No, I'm kidding, I love you, Frank. Don't, don't do something stupid, Frank. Can I, can I make that? Yes, I can. Why? Because I am cool, man. Cool, man. Uh, where am I? I am right here. I am exactly where I need to be. Uh, jump up. Can I jump straight up? No. Okay. Oh. Can I go through here? 
here through the office building. This takes me out. I don't want to go out. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna... Wait, can I? Yeah, I can just dive bomb over there. All right. Woo! Come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, nope, too high. Fair enough. So we have to. Okay. Whoa, spuck a boy, spuck a boy. I didn't need to do that, but I did. So deal with it, pal. Deal with it, pal. What are you gonna do? See? Yeah, see? Oh, I don't see. Oh wait, do I go this way? Which way? Oh, I guess I go this way. I went up here before I had the spiky thing, so now that I do have the spiky thing, I'm trying to do it that way because faster. Grappling hook. Why do I keep calling it the spiky thing? It's called a grappling hook. Come on. Come on, cat. Get your finger away. That was a terrible impression. I mean, like, in my opinion, a decent impression, but what I said was stupid. Uh, yeet! Ah! Ah! Spike! Oh, come on! Woo! Also, I didn't realize that the black guy that we met at the start of the game was the military operative guy that Aiden meets for, um, uh, I can't remember the bad guy's name in Dying Light 1. Ray, 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 not Ray, is it Ray? Ray sounds right. Raiden? No. They, um, Anyway, the guy in the first game, bad guy, super douchey, yeah, him. So, that was pretty cool. Oh, saucin! Yeah, as you can tell, I've been up here already, so I'm just gonna be cool and just climb all the way up here like a chad. Uh, and try not to die, because that's like a complete skill issue. Oh, I thought I was gonna fall off. Uh, panic. Oh, I hate this. Oh god, yeah, I forgot. Okay, up, up, up. <laughs> yeah, see, I... Okay, got lucky. Okay, climb up here. The climbing mechanic in this game, don't get me wrong, is pretty nice. I like it. I, I really do. But, I don't Frank. like... The setup I got the this. antenna going. Okay, let's see what these bastards are talking about. Okay. Yeah, the guy and head east. Walls is. We need to meet him. They're moving, Aiden. They said they're going to meet Waltz, heading east. There is another antenna on top of a condominium at the intersection of St. Paul Boulevard and Peach Street, just by the entrance of the main canal. Get it working, and we can keep up with them. Got it. I've already hit all these up. Woohoo! Yeah, baby! Woo! Oh, God. Come on, Aiden. Come on, Aiden. Aiden, the Colonel seems to be evacuating renegade camps. First, the electricity. Then, central loop rates. Now this. It seems that Williams doesn't want to fight any more than we do. Or he really intends to close the sluice gates and back the chemicals up into the city. But his stronghold will be destroyed as well, so this evacuation wouldn't make sense. We need to expand the range to find out more. Easy peasy, let's Hey, pal! <laughs> oh, hey, pal! Hey! Beep! <laughs> uh, that's fun. I like that. Boop, 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 click, click, boop, Frank, boop, 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 boop. I activated the second antenna. 
The renegades were here, on the roof. Speaking of renegades, here in Marchetta. Meeting in Garrison Boulevard, roll opposite. Walks will be there to give us orders. Anything new about that pilgrim? No. But he found someone who'll help him access the database. If you know something new about that fucking pilgrim, let me know. Keep looking over and out. Frank, I need to get to where they are. You heard the maiden. Waltz is looking for you. He's got a way to access the database. He <laughs> found someone. He's too strong for you, and you'll be playing straight into his hand. If that's the only way to find out the truth, then so be it. You're stubborn, kiddo. Stubborn like Lawan. I'll be in touch. Well, all righty then. Uh, what, what now? Sick. Woo! <laughs> Hey, I can see my house! <laughs> it's a dumb joke. Uh, go to the old offices. Hey, hold on, wait a minute. Okay, never mind. I was gonna. I forgot when you're midair, you can't check. Wait, if I pause, can I? Oh, okay. Boop, 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 Right. Uh, check my skill tree. Yeah, okay. I know, I have it mostly maxed out. I'm trying to max it out before the end of the game, just because, you know, that's cool. But, you have one new message. Uh, mmm, my spidey senses are tingling. Is that a dick? No, that's a bone. Uh Hey guys. See, what was right? These fuckers were dropping on us. First hey. him, then we'll get that GRE employee from the old Villador. And the boss will be over the moon. Where's Waltz? Waltz? We don't need Waltz to deal with you. Oh, good old Frank. So naive. Warning people. Talking way too much. <sighs> Got it. Okay. <sighs> Woohoo! Boink! Actually, hold on, wait a minute. Uh, I know, I know, I'm pausing. I'm sorry, but. <laughs> boom Boom Boys. Either I hide. Uh, have an avocado. Have an avocado. Have an avocado. Have an av. I'm out of avocados. Have a pancake. Have a pancake. Do I have more? No, I do not. This is not good. All right, hold on. Nice pancake. Get over here. Pop. Ow, 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 ow. Owie. Owie, zowie. I hurt. You're a dick. Get over here. <laughs> Looks like your dudes found my pancakes. Woo. Hey, fellas! Oh no, your commander died? No! Oh god. Sir, get your dick out of my face. Anger time! Dead. Dead. Woohoo! Oh, come on. Let me be cool! Come on! You just watched me kill him. I don't...
Well, that seems problematic. Oh, uh, hey, Frank. Aiden. Aiden. You all right? No. I think so. Yeah. Walsh wasn't here. And they know we're eavesdropping on them. I know. You know? Someone tried to tip me off. But the warning came too late. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I... <clears throat> my infection just flared up. The renegades were talking about some GRE doctor from the bazaar. Waltz is looking for him, too. Former GRE and old Velador? I'll look into it. Who tried to tip you off? Well, that's the strangest part. It was Hakon. He wants to meet uh. you. I wasn't aware the two of you had met. Anything I should know? It's... a long story. Why doesn't that surprise me? I thought he left the city. Well, he's still kicking, and he'll be waiting for you at the church on St. Paul Island. He's got the goods on Waltz. And hell, and maybe he knows something about Luan, too. Wait, 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 wait. What do you mean, something more? I'm afraid she's found a lead on Hakon, and she means to hunt him again. Which means she could get herself into trouble. Do you know what really made the Night Runners special, Aiden? I mean, true heroes. Inhibitors? It wasn't the inhibitors. Okay. Not the strength or speed they granted us. For the Night Runners, it was balance that set us apart. Self control. That's why Lawan couldn't become a Night Runner. Not because she was too young. She was the fastest, braver than a lot of my men. But she couldn't achieve balance. Okay. Why do you think he knows anything about Lawan? <clears throat> First of all, because she was after him. But also, because it's much more complicated than that. You see, the last time she went off radar like this was when this fucker dumped her. So, if she's not answering now, I'm getting really worried this is something more, and Hakon could be involved. Uh, tease Frank about self-control. Oh, self-control. This should be good. Don't laugh. <laughs> we used inhibitors, but they didn't use us. We had a focus on mental and emotional strength, not just physical abilities. Balance. Physical strength is important, but it's what you do with it that determines what kind of human being you are. That's why Hakon's betrayal hurt us so much. Okay, I'll meet I'll go Hakon. I'll meet with Hakon, Frank. I'll you try to find out what happened to the one. Just remember, they're listening to you too. We'll do, Aiden. Be careful. Who knows what Hakon is up to? I'm going back to the fisheye. Good luck. Thanks, pal. I'm gonna kill Hakon, I hope you know. I... He saved my life, I know. But... He lied to us. He, like... Oh my god, he was so much worse. So, so, so much worse. Uh... Uh... Can I jump up there? Yes, I can. You have... Ah, uh, let's hear it. Message one. Okay, don't care. <laughs> I'm running away now. All right. Uh. Alrighty. Well, we have come to the end of the episode, but I hope you guys did enjoy this. Much as I definitely did enjoy playing this. I wonder what Hakan has in store for us. That stupid, stupid, greedy old bastard. He's not old, but he sure is a bastard. Um, yeah, I don't, I, pff, I really don't like this guy. Not, not one bit. I used to like him, he was funny, and then he just, I stopped liking him when he started turning real selfish. I don't know if anyone else noticed, but when it came to, like, possibly getting out of Villador, he became ruthlessly selfish and he would like be like oh no you can't save everyone blah, blah, blah. and yet when we first got to us he was preaching about how like you should protect everyone you should this you should that so he's very two-faced um anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this if you haven't already like and subscribe uh, hit the bell for more notifications, and thank you all so much for the views and everything that I've been getting. I know it's not a lot, but 
it's appreciated. I've been doing this for two years, maybe more, and it's finally paying off a bit, and I'm excited, and thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!